the very get-go when uh, my three other partners, Grayson, Cliff, and Derek, and we sat down and we started talking uh, about this idea and opening up Resolute, um, we, we basically just tried to identify an area that was going to be a great spot that's underserved, and, and we really honed in this area, like, this is where we wanted to be. So we kind of took a step back, it's like, you know, what are we doing? Like, what, what are our values? What are we trying to uh, um, portray to the area? And uh, really, it was like, we were being purposeful in what we are doing um, in our actions and what we want to do. We were very determined that we're going to open this uh, brewery up and, and serve the community. And really just uh, took those aspects and looked up the definition of what that is. And it's resolute. You know, it's purposeful, determined, unwavering. Uh, that's what the definition of resolute is. And, you know, it's like that is perfect. That's exactly what we are. That's exactly what our values are. I had gone to Arizona to get um, an engineering degree and uh, ended up in uh, Tennessee and then back here and just really unhappy with being an engineer. I got laid off and I needed to find a job and I had a year to do it. So I worked for free and, and uh, I got uh, a, a position at uh, Elk Mountain Brewing and uh, three months after that then I became a, a head brewer. So. What got me into brewing was just the love of the actual craft itself. For me, uh, it, was, it was in uh, college. Uh, my buddy and uh, one of our other business partners, uh, Grayson, we just started uh, home brewing together throughout college and thereafter. And it's just always been a passion, you know, doing some festivals and events around for home brewers, and just really kind of just drove the passion even more. And it's like, man, this is a great industry. Like, just just the love for the craft and. And just being able to create something that someone else can enjoy. Community is our, our forefront of, of our business. And the, the four of us, we wanted to be able to give back and, and, and be an ideal um, aspect um, of the community and be able to provide for like hyper local like, charities. And so we really focus on that. So every month we're doing at least one, if not multiple different charities that we're working with to raise awareness, raise funds, and do events. And we hold a lot of events here in the tap room where uh, we might do silent auctions, uh, bingo night, and uh, we'll raise funds, do a percentage of sales, and, and give back to the community for that, for that charity. Craft beer is small batch, um, comparatively small batch, <laughs> ales and lagers that, um, that give somebody a sense of a, a, a handmade product. Right, hence the, the, the term craft, right? Um, we have very, very, very little automation here. I mash in by hand. I, I grain in by hand. I mash out by hand. Everything is done by my hands. And I love that. We start with the recipe. We start with the ingredients. The ingredients are always going to be top shelf, top quality. And if they're not, then we won't use them. Um, we use ingredients that are um, appropriate for style and for region, right? So if we make a Belgian beer, we're going to use Belgian ingredients. If we make a German beer, it's going to have German ingredients. You know, we want to make sure that everybody that comes into our place has a absolute impression of, man, a lot of love went into that beer. A lot of love. And so when, when we start talking about what do people want, you know, what, what can they expect, right? And I think I think that's it is, uh, is uh, love, and that you know that goes back to community. You know, giving people a place to sit and drink something that was made with love and attention. We always say be resolute. Um, you know, so what is you know what is be resolute? Be resolute being you know, be original, but be be staunch in your commitment to the uh, community, the craft, and the culture. Those are our main three values here, and we uh, we live it.